So from today onwards, we are observing the Kartika Masa, a special month which is very dear to Lord Krishna and we perform various devotional activities. Today we will try to understand what is Kartika Masa? Why the name Kartika? Why it is so dear to Lord Shri Krishna? And what are the activities we must observe during this Kartika Masa? And what are the result of that? Ultimately, we are all inspired to do anything only by seeing the result. So there are glorious results of following this Kartika Masa or the month of Kartika. In this verse of Bhagavad Gita, Lord Shri Krishna is saying what is the ultimate goal of our life. Manmana Bhavamad Bhaktaha Always think of Krishna and become his pure devotee. That is the only goal of our life. And then Krishna says, in this way you will come to me. Going back to Krishna is considered as the greatest success of one's life. In fact, that is the only goal of our life. Why we exist. Why we have taken birth. In order to make this happen, Krishna makes so many arrangements for us. To make what happen? To make us go back to Krishna. To make us become pure devotees of Krishna. What is the meaning of becoming a devotee of Krishna? It means that you develop love for Krishna. When you develop pure love for Krishna, it is the meaning of becoming a devotee of Krishna. And when you develop so much love, it is very natural you feel like being with that person. When you love anybody, you always feel like being with that person. Spending rest of your life with that person. It's very, very natural. We can see that even in the material life. Even in the material world, when people fall in love with one another, they feel like spending all the time with that person. Like mother, she loves the child and she likes the child is always with her. Or a grown-up man or a woman loves somebody and feels that, oh, most of the time should be with that person. So like that, when we develop intense and pure love for God, for Krishna, we naturally feel like we should be with Krishna. And that is what going to Krishna and being with Krishna. And Krishna says, if you always think of me, if you become my devotee, then you will come to me because that's very natural. And this is true. This is not some fake news. Not that politician makes some promise and they never fulfill that. So Krishna is saying, Satyam Pratijane, Pratignya. God is making promise that this is true. This will happen. And what is the result of going to Krishna, being with Krishna? Ananda chinmaya rasa pratibhavita bihi tabhirya evanija rupa tayakala bihi goloka neva nivasat akilatma bhuto govinda madi purusham tamaham bhajami goloka eva nivasati nivasa. If you stay with Krishna in the Goloka, Goloka is the name of the place where Lord Krishna stays. It is also called Vaikuntha, it's also called Vrindavana. So if you go and be with Krishna, Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratibhavita Bihi. Prati, every second, what is your experience? Ananda Rasa. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa. Everybody wants to be happy every second. And that is actually possible when you go to Goloka and when you are with Krishna. So Krishna is saying, why are you in this material world and suffering? Janma, Mrityu, Jara, Vyadi, Dukkha, Doshanu, Darshanam. You are continuously taking birth. Sometimes you are taking birth in some slum. 
Sometimes you're taking birth in some better place. Sometimes as animal. Sometimes somebody comes and kills you. You become animal. Don't think it's very nice. Nowadays, non-vegetarian is increasing everywhere. So they'll any time may cut. Oh, you may say, oh no, only chicken and uh, something else. No, every animal is being eaten nowadays. So there is no safety. So taking birth, no, forget about animal. Even if you are a human being, your own mother may abort you in your in the womb. So there is no guarantee. So janma, mrityu, death, vyadhi, diseases continuously one after other, one after other, some diseases will come. Old age will come. Krishna is saying, why you want all those things? Your original place is with me. Come to me. Be with me. Let's enjoy. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa. Every second, every moment, let's celebrate our life in the spiritual world. This is Krishna's invitation. He's not only just giving invitation, he's also making all arrangements for that. And that is because Krishna is unlimitedly merciful. Somebody just gives you invitation. But somebody also say, I'll give you invitation, I'll also book a vehicle for you to come to my place. Oh, you say that they are very serious. Sometimes people just come and give invitation. Ah, I like that, they'll go. <laughs> ah, nice, they gave invitation. But somebody is saying, I will make arrangement. I'll book vehicle. And I'll also make a food arrangement on the way. I'll make all arrangements. Then you say, oh, this person is very serious. He really wants me to come. So Krishna is like that. He's not simply saying, all of us, please come to Goloka and all of you be with me and he didn't disappear. He is making innumerable arrangements. So many arrangements. And each arrangement is better than another arrangement. You may say, oh, what arrangement have you made? And somebody says, I booked a train ticket for you. Which ticket? Sleeper class? No, no, I'm not interested. First of all, that person is a muft mein ticket booker. Hai, and after that, you are finding some fault. He says, okay, fine. I'll make you AC ticket. Then you may say, what AC ticket? I don't want to come by train. Then somebody says, okay, I'll book flight ticket for you. Oh, I don't want to come the flight that so many people. Oh, I'll book a chartered flight for you. Special flight for you. That means that person is really serious that you should come. So Krishna is making all such arrangements. First and foremost, he is giving human life. Human life is what? It's a chartered flight. What is human life? Chartered, chartered flight. Not some ordinary flight. Not some ordinary vehicle. All this animal, all that is, that is like some, you know, goods train. It's, it's not a very good arrangement. Oh, I have to go in some cargo ship, goods train. No, no. So, Krishna has given human life, which is like a chartered flight specially designed for you. And then, that to what kind of human body in the human body where our eyes are capable of seeing, we are not born blind. Our ears are working. We can hear. Our nose are working. Tongue is completely working. My hands and legs are working. Everything is working. Such kind of human body God has given to me. So that I can use all this. I can use my eyes to see the Lord. I can use my ears to hear the glories of Lord. I can use my tongue to chant the names of the Lord. I can use my nose to smell the fragrance of the Lord's garland. Use my hands and legs to do seva to the Lord. In that way we can go back to God and think of God. But somebody say, oh this much arrangement is not enough for me. Not enough. Then Krishna says, I will make arrangement called devotee association. There are people who are already doing this on the way. So you don't have to. What is the speciality of the devotee association? On your own, you have to put a lot of efforts. But when you are together with like-minded people, you put less effort and get the same result. So Krishna is saying, I will give you Bhakta Sangha, association of devotees. Like when we get up early in the morning, from morning we are chanting and nicely we are singing and dancing. After that when we go out, prasadam is ready. So it's not like after the class we announced, okay, all of you now make your own breakfast. 
No, when we go out already prasadam is ready. Somebody has cooked, somebody has done so much arrangement. So, just see this. Krishna is saying, I made devotee association. Then Krishna says, I made so many temples and in that temple I have appeared as Archavatara, the deities. Simply by looking at the deities, singing in front of the deities. Like Krishna says in the Adi Purana, that anybody who loudly chants my name and dance and sing in front of the deities, Atmam Vikrinitam, I sell myself to such a person. Like which you all did just now. We sang and we danced and we jumped and we shouted Hari Bol, Hare Krishna and Krishna says to such person, I will sell myself to such a person. So Lord is very serious to take us back. And then Krishna says, okay, everybody is not very active and enthusiastic to come to temple. They are all sleeping in the house. So Krishna says, okay, I will come as Harinam. In the Harinam incarnation, wherever you are there, you can chant my name. See how many arrangements Krishna is making to take us back to Goloka. And then Krishna is not satisfied making this many arrangements. He says, I'll come as prasadam because every day three times you are eating. You may say, oh Prabhuji, you know, saal mein ek bar mein mandir aunga. Oh, what to do? Krishna is very serious to take you. He's saying that, okay, chant my names, but you may say, I forgot to chant today. Sometimes people say, time, where is the time? I forgot and all this. Krishna says something that you don't forget only. What is that? Three times you are eating. We never forget that. Krishna says, I will incarnate as Mahaprasadam. I'll come as Mahaprasadam. You just take Mahaprasadam, which anyway you have to do every day, and you, you can actually get the blessings. So what to do? And then Krishna again is saying, okay, more arrangements I'll make. What is that more arrangement? So Krishna started incarnating as Titi. Titi means the days. He came as Ekadashi Titi. He said that, oh, so much of Papa Karma you have done. Because of which you are forgetting me. You are not getting attracted to me. I'll come as Ekadashi Titi. And simply that Ekadashi Titi, one day in a 15 days, you know, every day you may not be able to remember me. One day in 15 days, you just, you know, chant and, you know, take only non-grain prasadam. I will bless you. And then Krishna came as Janmashtami Titi. He said, some people say that I can't do Ekadashi Titi also. Krishna said, okay, one Ekadashi you do. Sorry, one Janmashtami you do. One Janmashtami is equal to all the Ekadashis of Kali Yuga, all the Ekadashis of Dwapar Yuga, all the Ekadashis of Treta Yuga, all the Ekadashis of Satya Yuga. If you count, it becomes 20 crore. 20 crore Ekadashis result you will get simply if you do one Janmashtami Titi. Can you imagine how much arrangement Krishna is making so that we think of him and we go back to him? Janmashtami Titi. And Krishna is still not satisfied. Sometimes Titi comes and goes and we miss it. So Krishna says, I'll come as a month. So that, you know, whole month you will not be able to miss it, forget it. So Krishna comes as Purushottamamas. He incarnates as a month. Purushottamamas. But unfortunately, Purushottamamas comes once in three years, four years. So Krishna wants to make even more arrangement for that. So for that, Krishna has made the arrangement of Kartikamas. Kartikamas. It's Krishna's on parallel expression of compassion, care, concern and love for all undeserving people, lazy people, unenthusiastic people like us. Krishna is more eager to take us than we want to go back. Krishna is more eager to be with us in Goloka, in Vaikuntha, then we want to be with him. So he makes innumerable arrangements. He appears as holy dham. He appears as holy rivers. And he appears as masa. And one of such unlimited compassion of Lord Krishna is 
Kartika Masa. It is also called Damodara Masa. And that month is just beginning from today. And if you are aware of this greatness, how Krishna has made this time just for me, I've already got human life. And in that human body, everything is all right. Krishna has given me Bhagavad Gita Bhagavatam. Krishna has given me Hare Krishna Mantra. Krishna has given me devotee association. Krishna has given me prasadam. Krishna has given temple. He has given so many arrangement. I've got Guru Srila Prabhupada in my life. So many arrangement. And now this Kartika Mas. I should not waste this time because it is specially made for me. Made for me. If I become lazy, how unfortunate it is. We should take full advantage of this month. Kartika month. What is this Kartika month? This name Kartika during this time comes because of two reasons. One is astronomical reasons. Another one is Gaudiya Vaishnava reasons. What is astronomical reason? According to astronomy, according to the, the movement, the travel of the moon, you know, moon keeps revolving around the earth. So when the moon is revolving around the earth, so the moon has many phases. Well, one of the phases of the moon is called Pournima, other one is called Amavasya. So when you calculate the month from Pournima to Pournima, that is called Purnimanta system of the month. So when the moon is rising in the sky on the Pournima day, which is a predominant nakshatra in the sky? In that particular part of the sky. And that name of the nakshatra is given for the entire month. So during this time, when the moon is rising in the sky at night, on the Pournima day, Kritika nakshatra is a predominant nakshatra. And so it is called Kartika Masa. This is an astronomical reason. But what is a devotional reason? The devotional reason is Krishna says in Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita, Adi Purana, many, many plays that he has sold himself to his devotees. Krishna says that I am controlled by my devotees. He is controlled by his devotees. In, in Damodara song that we sing, there also we see that Krishna was bound by Mother Yashoda, nobody can bind Krishna, catch Krishna, capture Krishna, but bhakti, devotion can capture him. So Krishna comes under the control of his devotees. So that is why uh, it is said, bhakti brings Krishna under the control. You want to control somebody, you have to use power, your position, sometimes so many other things. How do you control an animal? You control an animal by showing a stick or sometimes the rope and so many things. But how do you control the Supreme Lord? You cannot control. He is uncontrolled. But such supreme control Krishna, Ishwara, Parama, Krishna, he is ready to come under the control if you love him. Love or devotion is the only thing that brings Krishna under the control. So among all types of Devotees who possess love for Krishna, the one who possess unlimited pure love for Krishna is Srimati Radharani. She is the topmost devotee of Lord Sri Krishna, who has unlimited, unparalleled, pure love for Krishna. And she can unlimitedly control Krishna because of her love. And her name. Radharani is one of the name is Kartika because she is the daughter of mother. Radharani's mother is called Kirtida. Kirti. Radharani's mother name is Kirtida. And as a daughter of Kirti, so she is called Kartika. And this month is dedicated to Srimati Radharani. That is why this is called Kartika Masa. And it is called Kartika Vrata. And the name of this Kartika Vrata is called Urja Vrata. Urja. What is the meaning of Urja? 
ఎనీ వన్ నోస్ ఎనర్జీ ద హైయెస్ట్ ఎనర్జీ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణ పరస్య శక్తిర్ వివిధ ఇవ శ్రూయతే కృష్ణ ఇస్ గాట్ సో మెనీ ఎనర్జీస్ సంవిత్ శక్తి సంధిని శక్తి ఆహ్లాదిని శక్తి అమాంగ్ ఆల్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ శక్తి ద టాప్ మోస్ట్ శక్తి ఈజ్ ఆహ్లాదిని శక్తి దిస్ భక్తి శక్తి అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ శ్రీమతి రాధారాణి అండ్ ఎనీబడి డస్ దిస్ కార్తీక వ్రత దిస్ నెక్స్ట్ థర్టీ డేస్ దే గెట్ ద సేమ్ శక్తి ఊర్జ వ్రత ఊర్జ శక్తి ద శక్తి భక్తి శక్తి దట్ అట్రాక్ట్స్ కృష్ణ that is possible only in this kartika masa very easily that is a speciality radha rani she blesses she grants that urja shakti to her, to her devotees that is why the vaishnavas don't miss this kartika masa see they are not asking for a job they are not asking for some property they are not uh, desiring some elevation in the material life ధనం దేహి పుత్ర దేహి భార్య దేహి లైక్ దిస్ వాట్ దే వాంట్ ఇస్ కృష్ణ వి వాంట్ యూ కృష్ణ వి వాంట్ యువర్ లవ్ బట్ హౌ టు గెట్ దట్ యూ కెన్ గెట్ దట్ బై డూయింగ్ కార్తీక మాస వ్రత ఆర్ ఊర్జ వ్రత సో ఇన్ దిస్ కార్తీక మాస వి డూ ఊర్జ వ్రత ఆర్ కార్తీక వ్రత దట్ ఈస్ ఫర్ ద ప్లెషర్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీమతి రాధరాణి అండ్ ఫర్ ద ప్లెషర్ ఆఫ్ దామోదర కృష్ణ హూ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ Damodara in this month called Damodara Masa or Kartika Masa. It's very special. Radharani is the complete in charge of this month. And only she can give that kind of bhakti to us that attracts Krishna. So this is one of Krishna's unparalleled compassion arrangement for us to think of Krishna, to remember Krishna and so that we develop love for krishna attraction to krishna and so that we go back to krishna and be with krishna it's krishna's own arrangement for us kartika masa and what is the speciality of this kartika masa in this month krishna has performed many beautiful attractive leelas many attractive leelas and one of such very beautiful leela that krishna performed was damodara leela damodara leela krishna running away from yashoda after breaking the pots butter pots and yashoda was chasing krishna and finally she was able to catch krishna because krishna decided to get caught and then she was able to bind krishna because krishna decided to get bound by the love of yashoda and that beautiful leela happened on the deepavali day you know the deepavali why deepavali is so special because on deepavali day yashoda caught krishna and bound him the damodara leela happened on deepavali day on the same next day of the deepavali after few years when damodara leela happened krishna was very small and when krishna grew little big and then on the same the, this kartika masa krishna lifted govardhana hill krishna lifted govardhana hill and he was looking at yashoda and tell see one day you thought i'm too small i i thought you thought i'll break only pots see today what i've broken i lifted govardhana hill same krishna same your uh, kanaiya so krishna performed damodara leela and govardhana leela in this month sharat purnima yesterday there was sharat purnima it is called sharat purnima because the sharad rutu begins from yesterday samvatsara or year has six rutu rutu means the season season is called rutu so there are six seasons in a year vasanta ritu grishma ritu sharad ritu shishira ritu hemanta ritu so sharat ritu the season 
that winter season officially begins from sharad purnima on the sharad purnima day what is the speciality the kartika masa begins right on sharad purnima night krishna performed the most captivating spectacular pastime called rasa nritya rasa mandala with all the gopikas on the banks of yamuna river krishna on the night of sharad purnima played a celebrated flute called vamshi krishna's flute name is vamshi vamshi vata tatasthitah karshan venu gopi karshan venu gopi hi by playing venu vamshi krishna karshan ya he akarshan he attracted all the gopis on the banks of yamuna and one gopi is telling another gopi if at all you want to be happy in this world okay don't go near yamuna river if you think you should be you should have a happy life with your husband father mother children and all never go near that yamuna river chalo somehow you went for some reason you didn't know you gone now what to do udhar mat jao barbad ho jayega are chalo kya karo i already i went there i didn't know what to do then she saying okay even if you go yamuna river na immediately close your ears don't listen to that flute sound once you listen to that flute sound ho gaya chalo <laughs> you lost your heart you know we wear t-shirt when you go to vrindavan you see it's very common to see a t-shirt called i lost my heart in vrindavan so this is the warning given 5000 years back don't go otherwise you lose your heart maine dil kho ke baitha you know ho gaya kho gaya so now what to do don't listen to that flute sound somebody listen what to do now what to do He's saying okay you went to yamuna river you listen to that flute sound next if you still think you should, you should somehow be happy in this material world don't see the face of a boy called govinda there is one boy standing on the bank of yamuna river and playing the flute don't look at his face if you look at his face the after that there is there is nothing called saving after that everything is over you will lose everything your heart your mind your intelligence everything so all the gopis they left their home they came to yamuna river on the bank of yamuna river and in vrindavan underneath the vamshi vata krishna was playing flute and they joined krishna and krishna performed spectacular dance called rasa dance rasa nritya and when they when the rasa nritya was going on this rasa nritya was considered to be the epitome of happiness you know in movies you see the moment the hero heroine are happy they suddenly start dancing and there is a song <laughs> because the happiness is expressed through dance the top most spiritual happiness is also expressed through dance and that dance is called rasa nritya and prabhupad in one of the uh, interview press reporter asked prabhupad what is the purpose of iskon for iskon prabhupad said our goal is to join the rasa dance in the spiritual world so that rasa dance krishna was performing on sharad purnima that just happened last night and in the midnight in the mid of the dance krishna disappeared just krishna disappeared he is no more visible to the gopis and they were so disturbed there like mad people searching for krishna krishna wanted to intensify their longing their desire for krishna you know when something loses only we will search for it we will become more uh, serious about it so krishna disappeared and they were searching for krishna and when they were searching for krishna they offered an extraordinary prayer in shrimad bhagavatam that prayer is documented what is that prayer gopi geeta that gopi geeta prayer was offered on the sharad purnima night this is a speciality of 
ஷரத் பூர்ணிமா இந்த கார்த்திக மாசா and that prayer was so intense it was so strong it was filled with that level of love krishna had to again appear because that was the intensity of the loving prayer offered by the gopis which is called gopi geeta in the dashama skanda of shrimad bhagavatam you find tava kathamritam tapta jeevanam கவிபீரீடிதம் கல்மாபம் ஷவணமங்களம் ஸ்ரீமத் ஆததம் புவிகிருணாந்தியே பூரிதா ஜனா திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த வேர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த கோபி கீதா தவ கதாமிரம் தப்த ஜீவனம் தேர் சேங் ஏ கிருஷ்ணா வேர் ஆர் யூ விதவுட் யூ அவர் லைஃப் இஸ் லைக் ஆஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் இன் த ஃபயர் you know when you when when people put fire on your body how do you feel it is so much of pain a little agarbatti touches little bit you know hand we feel so horrible whole body is fire how do you feel they are saying gopis are saying we are feeling like that without you are we feeling like that we are not feeling like this we are feeling completely normal completely all right but that is not the way the gopis feel without krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu expresses that feeling similar feeling in his shikshastaka what does he say what is that uh, verse that chaitanya mahaprabhu says he says that govinda virahena me govinda in your viraha viraha means separation when that person is not there yugaitam nimishena that one one second is looking like some millions of years i can't tolerate this please come please come please come and they were they become so mad the gopis had become so much mad out of love for krishna they were going to every trees grass plants and asking did you see krishna did you see krishna where is krishna did you see Do, can you tell us where is krishna they were searching like this see that's what krishna says man mana to that level we should search krishna in our life to that level that is the bhakti that gopis are teaching all of us they're going to plants and asking they're going to all the flower plants hey bakula hey uh, champaka hey mallika did you see krishna and then they're going to creepers they're going to trees they're going to mango tree asking did you see krishna they're going to uh, different different trees and asking did you see krishna and their and see, their situation was so intense that it was looking even the stones were melting it was like you know when you see sometimes the difficulties of people your heart will melt the gopis were feeling so painful without krishna and they were asking every trees and plants can you please show where is our krishna they go into a uh, trees and the trees are not speaking they are saying these all trees you see they are not speaking let's ask the creepers then they are asking creepers in that way they were offering prayers and that is called gopi geeta tava kathamritam tapta jeevanam and when they could not find krishna then they started speaking about krishna krishna did like this krishna did like that krishna was stealing butter krishna killed putana and one became one one of the gopis became putana and another gopi became krishna and they in that way they were trying to satisfy themselves by thinking of krishna by talking about krishna tava katha tava katha your your activities your stories themselves are like amrita they themselves can save our life tava katha amritam tapta jeevanam we are suffering we are going through pain and in that pain your, your remembrance your your activities your stories them itself can save our life tava katha amritam tapta jeevanam kavi bhiridam kalma shapaham all the kalma shai in our heart will go away so that was a prayer that was offered by gopis on sharat purnima night so it is recommended in the kartika masa in all the temples in vrindavan they recite the gopi geeta all the 30 days in the evenings this is a speciality because that was offered during this time so the gopi geeta is recited during the kartika masa to 
pray to all the gopikas and to pray to shrimati radharani to grant us such intense bhakti this is how one of the kartika masa is observed and then damodara because krishna was bound his belly was bound with the rope so he got the name damodara so this month is also called damodara masa because krishna did that leela govardhan leela and another very interesting leela what is that krishna manifesting radha kunda in the same kartika masa bahulashtami bahulashtami is a day on which the the love pond of radha and krishna which is the topmost place in the spiritual world appeared here radha kunda appeared in the kartika masa so damodara leela govardhana leela uh, bahulashtami that is radha kunda's appearance day and gopi geeta manifested the gopikas offered the prayers in this kartika this month is filled with of madhurya bhakti and that intense unalloyed pure devotion bhakti that is why it is called urja vrata that shakti that bhakti shakti can be granted to even us people like us if you simply follow this kartika masa just see this and the end of the last 5 days of kartika masa are very special because it is called bhishma panchaka it's called bhishma panchaka pancha means five the five days the last five days of kartika masa bhishma deva he performed this ghora tapasya for what what he wanted he wanted my lord when i am dying i should be able to think of you i should be able to remember you and who is doing this bhishma is doing actually it's very interesting bhishma had on some special blessings what is that special blessing he can die whenever he wants not like us we don't know when we will die we don't know where we will die we don't know how we will die so we have to do that bhishma panchaka but bhishma you know is a great acharya bhishma acharya and is a great devotee is a maha bhagavata he is setting an example to all of us what is the most important thing in bhagavad gita krishna says antakale cha mame va smaran muktva kalevaram krishna says at the time of death you should remember me and shrimad bhagavatam says ante narayana smriti you have to think of krishna at the time of death but how to get that remembrance of lord krishna at the time of death last 5 days of kartika masa there is a vrata called bhishma panchaka vrata and bhishma himself did this in satya yuga gargacharya did this the last 5 days and begged the lord my lord please grant me your loving memory at the time of my last breath and in treta yuga in treta yuga vasishta rishi did this bhishma panchaka and in dwapar yuga bhishma himself did it so in kali yuga they are setting example last 5 days chant more number of rounds remember the lord and pray to the lord that lord we should be able to remember you because that's the ultimate instruction of krishna manmana bhavamad bhakto remember me especially at the time of death to remember krishna at the time of death you must prepare for that and one of the wonderful preparation is this kartika masa urja vrata so uh, this kartika masa got the name kartika because of radharani because kartika is radharani's name and this is also called urja masa because radharani's another name is urjeshwari because she gives that topmost shakti bhakti shakti or one of the names is urjeshwari she gives urja that is why this is also called urja masa and urja vrata and in this month krishna performed the most beautiful loving pastime of damodara leela govardhana leela radha kunda leela bahulashtami and then bhishma panchaka vrata and pravupad sthiro bhava they all come in this month so this month is an extraordinary now what do we do how do we do this what is that one has to uh, do in this uh, month right so the most important 
think what we have to do is we have to take the pledge we have to come before the lord and we have to offer pray my lord for your happiness to get your love to develop your love and to earn your love i want to follow this kartika masa please give me shakti so that next 30 days i am able to follow and complete it for your happiness to get your bhakti please this is called sankalpa so one has to take that sankalpa <clears throat> and so um, the purpose is this kartike ham karishyami prata snanam janardana प्रीत्यर्थम तव देश दामोदर मया सह हे दामोदरा हे जनार्दना प्रीत्यर्थम फॉर योर प्रीति फॉर योर सैटिस्फैक्शन फॉर योर हैप्पीनेस एंड टू गेट योर लव ई वॉन्ट टू डू कार्तिका दिस कार्तिक व्रता कार्तिके हम करिष्यामि करिष्ये करिष्ये मीन्स डूइंग फॉलोइंग ई वॉन्ट टू फॉलो दिस ऊर्ज व्रता कार्तिक व्रता प्रीत्यर्थम तव प्रीत्यर्थम दामोदरा फॉर यू फॉर योर हैप्पीनेस आई वांट टू फॉलो दिस राइट सो दिस इज द पर्पस एंड देन हु शुड डू दिस इज इट मेंट बिकॉज एवरी व्रता इज नॉट मेंट फॉर एवरीबडी सम व्रताज आर मेंट फॉर सम पीपल बट दिस व्रता इज मेंट फॉर एवरीबडी एंड हियर इन पद्म पुराण व्यास देव इज सेंग बालाच तरुणी वृद्ध नर नारी नपुंसक पापै सर्व प्रमुच्य स्नाना कार्तिको स्नात्वा वै कार्तिके लोक प्राप्नुवती ईप्सित फल हू कैन डू एंड वाट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट बाला बाला मीन्स वाट स्मॉल चिलड्रन some vratas small children they don't have to do but here this kartika masa even small children can do that means we have to encourage if there are any small children at home we must encourage them to do this kartika masa bala chataruni even even girls women there are some vratas only women will do there are some vratas men will do but this vrata children can do Young boys can do, young girls can do. Tharuni, vridha, vridha, vridha means old people. Even old people can do. Sometimes some old people are given exemption from some vratas, but this even they can do. Nara, nari, man can do, woman can do. Napumsa kaha. You know nowadays there's a lot of talk about LGBTQ and all that. Even all of them can do. Nara, nari, napumsa ka. Papai sarvai pramuchyate. You will get rid of all kinds of papas. There's so many varieties of papas. All that papa we can come out of this. Simply take bath. See, taking bath is very common activity. But Krishna is saying in the Kartika Masa, if you take bath, also you will get result. Look at his arrangement. Taking bath is not very something that extraordinary activity, right? But Krishna is saying, Vyasa Dev is saying, Snanat Kartika Maghayo. In this Kartika, Kartika and Magha Masa, you take this Snana every day morning. just take that you will get all the sinful reactions cleared snata vai kartike loka prapnuvanti ipsitam phalam whatever devotional desires you have got devotional desire all those devotional desires will be fulfilled so this is how who can do and what can be done and then what should we do what should we do in this kartika masa kartikam sakalam masam nityasnai jitendriyam in this kartika masa first thing that we should do is every day morning before sunrise we have to take bath when should we take bath before sunrise, before sunrise we have to take bath that is the first thing that we have to do and then second thing is jitendriyam one has to practice brahmacharya in this kartika masa one has to stay away from all the distractions stay away from all the distraction in the kartika masa so that your mind is not allured it is not distracted 
సో జితేంద్రియం జపన్ యు హర్ టు ఇంక్రీజ్ యువర్ జప సో ఎనీవే దోస్ హు ఆర్ నాట్ ఎట్ స్టార్ట్ ఎట్ చాంటింగ్ హరే కృష్ణ మంత్ర దిస్ ఇస్ ద బెస్ట్ టైమ్ టు స్టార్ట్ chanting hare krishna mantra those who are already chanting hare krishna mantra you have to increase those who are chanting one make it two those who are chanting two make it four four eight eight sixteen you increase it sixteen thirty two you have to increase because japa has lot of importance in the urja vrata or this kartika vrata japan as much as possible keep chanting keep chanting so there is uh, one very interesting story once uh, there was one man very lazy man so narad muni was very compassionate wanted to help and bless that man he goes to that man and say what did you chant he says uh, narad muni you don't have any work you keep roaming around so you chant i am very busy man i don't have time to chant it's very sad that people think like this so narad muni said okay so he, narad muni gave so many options but he said no no i don't have time i don't have time like this. so narad muni said uh, why don't you chant while taking bath so that man said yeah i will do while taking bath maybe i can consider it like that so narad muni said do one thing you chant ram 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 chant during the uh, taking bath he said but uh, i am taking bath in a bathroom it's not a very clean place is that okay narad muni said that's fine chant so he was chanting ram 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 like this and then once hanuman was flying over the sky and hanuman heard ram ram and immediately you know wherever ram name is there hanuman is there hanuman immediately got attracted so when he comes down and sees uh, there is one person chanting ram ram a holy name in the bathroom <laughs> so hanuman felt little sad he was happy that he is chanting but what is this he is chanting in the bathroom he should be respectful no so he gave one slap <laughs> what is this actually hanuman is uh, is doing a leela to glorify the holy name of the lord and then he said the chant nicely in the nice place and then hanuman reached ayodhya and uh, you know lord ram is sitting like this he said my lord what happened why are you sitting like this he said you slapped him you see what happened to me i got that slapping my devotees whenever they chant however they chant wherever they chant i am personally there you can't stop them like this so hanuman and ram played this leela to glorify the holy name so please increase the japa chant the holy names in this urja uh, masa urja vrata kartika masa one has to increase if you are not started chanting please start chanting it has got very big benefit japan then havishya bhuk bhuk means eating from that bhuk sanskrit word hindi word has come bhuk bhook bhook lag raha hai bhook means you are feeling hungry food food you need havishya bhook you havishya bhook means you have to eat only prasadam so you have to take a vrata at least in kartika masa i will not eat the food which is not offered to lord krishna havishya bhook i have to take only food which is offered to krishna that means whatever you cook in your place in your home please offer to krishna put tulsi leaf make sure there is an onion garlic put tulsi leaf and just chant and offer to krishna so simple japan havishya bhuk take only krishna prasadam shantaha next what you should do is shantaha you have to be very calm and peaceful whole month you should take the vrata of not become angry you have to take the vrata off in the kartika masa i will not become angry i'll remain shantaha practice because anger is tamoguna krishna says in bhagavad gita that takes you towards hell hellish life kama krodha lobha they are the three gateways to hell so shantaha have life in such a way that you remain peaceful internally and externally don't make others angry and you also don't get angry in this way sarva papai pramuchyate kartika masa is very special you can get rid of all our sinful activities and become dear to lord krishna and another thing that one has to do is the most important thing is deepadan 
தீபதான் இன் கார்த்திகா இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் எவ்ரி டே ஆஸ் மெனி லேம்ப் ஆஸ் பாசிபிள் வி ஆர் டு லைட் இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் லார்ட் கிருஷ்ணா in this kartika maas kartika maasa is also called the month of lights so ghee lamp you have to light if not many at least one ghee lamp every day one ghee lamp you have to make batti cotton batti and first of all cotton batti but you want to make it even more extraordinary special then you have to take a tulsi kashta kashta means the stick in the tulsi plant you see there when the tulsi becomes dry it it will have lot of uh, sticks so there is called kashta the tulsi kashta you have to put uh, cotton around it it becomes a batti with tulsi kashta and then with the ghee you dip and you have to offer to lord krishna that is very special actually very special if somebody can do this krishna says atmam vikrina i will sell myself to you i will become your person radharani will become very very pleased with this bhakti simply by offering lamp ghee lamp it's called deepadan deepadana vrata every day without missing 30 days we have to offer by singing hare krishna you know we can offer this that is deepadana vrata and another thing is that we have to take the vrata at least every day one page from prabhupad book i will read at least one page i'll sit in front of krishna open bhagavad gita book at least one page i'll do because please take advantage this is an extraordinary time krishna has arranged for us to develop love for him which is the goal of our human form of life it's made for us only don't waste this time this is a very special time and if you do all those things urja you will get that shakti urja vrata which shakti among all the shakti bhakti is the topmost shakti and that shakti radharani will give us if you do this get up early in the morning before sunrise take bath come in front of krishna japan yo chant the holy name hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare and then offer prayers offer ghee lamp deepa dana vrata at least read one page from shila prabhupad books right take only krishna prasadam come to temple have darshan of lord krishna if you cannot come to temple in your own home you can have live darshans nowadays right so read prabhupad books and then offer some stuti some prayers and try to reduce sleep little bit some half an hour you can reduce and you can chant extra right so in this kartika masa if you do all these things and uh, we become extremely dear to radharani and krishna and we increase our bhakti for krishna and that is the speciality of this kartika masa and this kartika masa we we intensify our man mana remembrance of lord krishna by thinking of damodara leela by thinking and discussing about govardhana leela the radha kunda leela and this prayers offered by gopis gopi geeta by reading shrimad bhagavatam by doing bhishma panchaka vrata if possible visiting shri dham vrindavan in the kartika masa is very glorious visiting because all this happened in that place being there going there if you cannot go rupa goswami says in your mind you can do manasika yatra you can in your mind you can go to all those places and you get the same result see how much krishna has made arrangement right so let us all pray on the first day today is the first day of kartika masa after sharad purnima the sharad ruto and we'll seek the blessings of radha krishna prabhupad that this next 30 days we must complete this uh, kartika vrata without any disturbance and receive the blessings of guru and krishna will stop here grantara shrimad bhagavad gita ki jagat guru shrila prabhupad ki nitay gor premanande